Hello, I'm obx 2 k and welcome back to another episode of the Fallout 4 Let's Play. This is part 15 of the playthrough where I've been playing through Fallout 4 in 1080p 60fps, except when the 60fps isn't a thing because of the, the crossfire. And <laughs> today we're going to be exploring Vault... Oh, this is an elevator. But we're going to be exploring Vault 95. <laughs> um, every vault has a cool story. Uh, we, we found this vault quite some time ago, but we couldn't get in, but we finally did it, so we're gonna be exploring what the story of this vault is. Also, how did you just do that? Are you, are you magic? Hey, what do you want? Would you like some, how's just our relationship? wanted to check in, see how you feel things are going between us. I don't know if you care. Okay. That was all, no problem. Nice. Okay, so this is filled with traps. Wait, wait, please don't walk into that. So basically we're gonna have to be so, so careful for this whole thing, because these uh, tripwires can be disabled, and they give you XP even, and even some little, uh, things for them but if we activate one it's gonna start a chain reaction Let i imagine if you want me to help with that lock, which we probably don't want matter. so there's also yeah this place is Getting just into places i'm not wanted is a talent i've acquired over the years what did she say i missed that she said something about the vault wait there's a person up there how do i miss that so we just pull out this if he's the only guy yep he's an, he's an enemy he is the only guy, it seems. Oh no, there's Who's there? there's a Mr. Gutsy. And also, a guy on the floor. Wait, why is he wounded? I guess we'll shoot him a few times and find out. I guess that, that's not really finding out, that's just killing a guy. But yeah, we've got some missiles. I, we could have used these last part, but whatever. We'll use them now. We'll use them now, damn it. So just fire that in there. Oh, no, okay. That laser beam. That just insta-death beam. So I think this place, and I turned into literal dust because of that. So I think this place might be... Okay, so we're going to have to do this and find things for stealth only. We can't go in any confrontations. It's got to be purely stealth. So, <laughs> yeah, welcome back to this part. I die more in Fallout than lots of people do. Because I feel as though most people when they're playing Fallout, they look for the easy stuff. With me, it's just like, do I want to do a thing? Yeah, I do. Let's go do it. And that generally leads to a lot of deaths. A lot more deaths than you might figure. But that's fine. Well, it's not fine. I guess you get to decide it's fine. But I'm telling you to decide that it's fine. So that works out in my head. So, yeah, we're going to make sure we just explore the hidden stuff. Um, we might have to take a stealth way in or whatever it is. Yeah, so we're not going to go that way because we got discovered last time. Instead, we're going to be clever. Oh, ow. <laughs> Oops. Let's try this instead. So it's a little bit to the right. A little bit more to the right, maybe? Not a little bit more. No, it was, it was the left. So that should be good. No, a little bit more. Oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I spend my entire life, obviously not that actually long, that doing this stuff. She likes being in places she's not wanted. Nice. So let's turn all the um, stuff against them. Is there like a about your defense systems. Ah, that's just telling me not to use them. So let's just deactivate them first of all. Pretty useful little thing to be doing right there. Then let's take the Mentats. So this is this is recent, maybe. I don't think Mentats were before the war. I guess they probably must have been. Actually, what is Jet? Now that I think about it, is it, is it a drug someone made? Yeah, it's a drug you can make from post-war chems. This isn't going to go well. So, to... um. <gasps> Oh, we ran out of bobcat mines. Well, we're entirely screwed. So, we have frag mines, what? which are roughly just as good. Uh, so, we just fill this hallway over here with frag mines. Then we'll be fine. That's my theory. And then we just hide in this little corner over here. It's okay. Oh, jeez. Your your instruction is over to go here. over there. I'm on it, Captain. Yep, go do that. Oh, jeez. Get him. Okay, so we can't begin that whole mess of combat, so we'll just watch her do it instead. So, enjoy. Does it work this way? Oh, jeez. It seems to actually work quite well this way. Just hide in this little corner. Oh, is she dead? I love that... Yeah, okay, she's she's on the ground. So we're going to just uh, give ourselves a stim pack. Get back in fighting order. Throw out another frag mine. I don't know if he, he blows them up because he floats. Which actually... No one ever really questions that, but it is quite questionable, isn't it? And then we'll put out our laser rifle. 
Which actually, we, we got a tactical one of these. Let's put out that instead. Uh, what was it was incendiary? No, that's a bolt action pistol. Um, let's put out our tactical excited laser rifle, which does a whole 24 damage. But it has a thing on top, so I guess. That makes up for it. Vaguely. Oh, yeah, he actually isn't doing much damage, so we can take him out, which is fine. It's when the Assaultatrons uh, come that we know we're screwed. Okay, so finish him off. 35 XP, nice. So now she's going to start regenerating, because there's no one directly in her sight. And then we're going to go take on, not Assaultatrons, but... Okay, there's no Assaultatrons. Oh, no, that's an Assault. No, that's a gun. So when we find the Assaultatron, we know we're dead. That's kind of uh, a good rule of thumb we've got going on here. So it seems as though just stimpacking to be extra safe is just a thing we should do. Oh, okay, that's nice. As well as taking down all of these. And just in general, staying nice and safe. So there's one, there's someone up there. But then, like, if you look on the map, there's a red dot. Oh, that's a, that's a dummy. <laughs> Figured I'd shoot it anyway, just to, you know, make sure things are safe. Oh, the medics only just wore off. That's concerning to me. I, I didn't... I, I, I thought I was taking full-on damage, not just, you know, medic damage. And then we'll also switch out to the frag grenade, because we need a lot of those too. Or we could just missile launch. Or Molotov. It seems, it seems less wasteful to me. So just set everyone over there on fire. Well, it's heading. Wait. Okay. I hear the um. I hear the guy firing at this thing. There he is. There he is. Oh my god. Okay, that's terrifying. So we're getting out there because we can't. We just can't keep up with all of this. This is an awesome like idea for a vault. Like I, I think we'll come back to a vault again in future. I want to learn about this, but this just seems like it's a vault. Like this is this is a cave that happens to be a vault that is not meant for where I am right now. Maybe this is part of the main quest actually. Maybe that's why it's so like high up because usually well the main quest gets harder and harder so maybe this is like somewhere near the end of that it's probably not i don't even know a lot of you are probably like toy cow you should do this but it's it's too much you gotta, you gotta sometimes be like you know what? i'm dying it's dead it's i i'm gonna ruin some more videos if i don't leave so yeah we'll be back here we'll be back but for now we won't <laughs> also how do, how do you keep doing that she has genuine magical powers i feel as though i definitely want her perk it's gonna be like can teleport around Although I imagine that's just the buggy system in this game. Also, is this mannequin naked? It is. That's nice. Like, in my head, mannequins only have clothes on, but have you ever seen a, man a naked mannequin? They're really, really creepy. So, I prefer to imagine that I haven't seen those. Yeah, let let's do some quests anyway. So, we've got Ghoul Problem. We've got Kurt and Cool. Investigate Radio Broadcast. Let's do that. Wait, where's the broad... It's somewhere over here. Oh, that seems like a lame one. Let's instead... Uh, I think... Private Heart's collar tape. Let's do that. So I forgot who Private Heart was at this point, but let's listen to his tape. Let's let's find out what's going on with that. Jeffries, Lee got the recorder working. Not oh, now, uh, sorry, sir. Where's Carl? The lieutenant said he found Not the tracks. Post. Wanted to check them out. Private Martin. Tracks. What track? What the hell is that? Oh my. Connor. Where? Where's the rest of him? <sighs> Us. Sergeant Lee, grab the case. Do not let that thing out of your sight. Everyone inside the museum, now! Major! Major, what found us? <laughs> okay, so there's something... We need to go check out that museum. For pretty good reason, I think. Uh, for, yeah, for pretty for pretty good reasons. Uh, I love that audio tape. Like, I heard quite a bit of it. But some of it was just them speaking over themselves. Which was re reasonably questionable audio design. So yeah, we're going to check out what this place here is, just so we know the future. Okay, and there's a Myluck. It's fine, though. It's fine. Mylucks are fine. You can, we can deal with those. Okay, and there's Fragmine. Those are not fine. Those are slightly less fine. So we're going to check the floor now, because there's going to be... Where there's one Fragmine, there's always more. See? And then you can disarm them, get a free one. Take a rat away. Take some vodka. Take some miss... Wow, seven missiles and some shotgun shells. It seems like this place was built for me, but yeah, we can explore here later. Oh, okay, no, no, clip, cl no kill claw, no. Kill claw, kill claw, no kill clawing. I can't even say kill claw without going crazy, but yeah, we're just gonna swim across to here. This place seems safer. And at the very least, the swim will give us health pack, <laughs> which is very bizarre, but just one of the perks we took. I I'm kind of regretting going with so much endurance, because 
I, I feel like all this extra health hasn't actually helped me at all. But it has given me issues. So it looks like we got a... I was going to say a... Oh, okay. There's a bunch of does that want me dead. Oh, Jesus. A doe. A doe. Oh, wait. I guess it is. Yeah, a female deer is a doe. Or a doe is a female deer. Um, yeah, we're just going to hop up here. Nope. Okay, can't do it. So, <laughs> we're, fortunately, we are giving these uh, these deer some issue. And yeah, toy alien. Chessboard. Is this really just a kid's club? Oh, lunchbox. Yeah. We've got a plastic spoon, too. So yeah, those lunch boxes, they have some special purpose. I haven't worked out what it is yet, but they do have a really cool special purpose that I'm looking forward to uh, seeing at some point. So, okay, we look inside there. There's nothing going on. Oh, a suitcase and then a bed. Oh, we can't sleep on the bed because the suitcase. And you can't move the suitcase because it's a chest, which is a little bit weird. But yeah, let's um, let's open this thing. Yep, it's to the right. See how I just sensed That's that? It. Fusion core. What are you doing in there? Also, laundry blue dress. I should wear some nice clothes at some point. I mean, this this vault suit's nice and all, but uh, I feel as though there's probably nicer stuff out there. But yeah, um, assuming there's no rag stags after us or rad stags. I think I, I think I keep calling them rad stags, even though they're rad stags. We're gonna head forwards a little bit, just find somewhere safe to go fast travel. Cause I like I like discovering all these locations, but I'm mostly so we've got the Egret Tours Marina. Oh, Marina! Almost put it Marina. It's like Maria, which is technically a correct pronunciation, but I'm I'm never like there's I, I mean, maybe this is just me being me, but I feel as though there's a lot of names I only want to pronounce one way. If you tell me it's pronounced another way, I will like sure it is. Oh, we just set up a trip wire, didn't we? Yep. I'm sorry. <laughs> she always gets the pain from all of this, but it's fine. So there's a right away. There's a buff out. I guess this was worth my time. Oh, floating boat with. Ooh, night vision, powerful pipe sniper rifle. So, it's carrying too much and can't run. I just want to see what night vision looks like on a sniper. Because I had a night vision, um... I know I, 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 I've seen night vision weapons, but I've never had one. I thought I had one, but I didn't. So, oh, this is cool. That's a shame I can't keep it. Oh, it has 48 in the clip, too. So, it's high capacity. But only, only 19 damage is garbage. So, you're falling down a floor. And now I don't have any weapons. I guess I could punch someone. Oh, yeah, let's, um... What we're going to do now is we're going to fast travel to the museum and we're going to check out what's going on there. So, oh, that's the Museum of Witchcraft. Right. That's the place I said I knew was too high level for me. So I wouldn't go back there. Uh, so let's 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 just deal with some GoPro. No, actually, we need to speak to, um, so let's just speak to, I don't know, County Crossing, if it's somewhere nearby. Yeah, that seems, well, I've, I've been here before at the very least. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get one quest done. We're going to speak to, um... Because basically there's two main quests I want to be doing, which I've been just, you know, I've been kind of dicking around because I can't be doing them. Because one of the main quests is with the Minutemen, and the Minutemen uh, just keep sending me on these infinite repeating quests. And then the other type of quest is uh, the Robin Hood still, and they left me and said they'll call me back at some point. And it's hey like, there. okay then, You're with the what I'll do in the meantime. Yep. The Minutemen are all... A pack of feral ghouls. Yep, you want to kill them? Of... Where are they? I'll kill them. Ghouls in the comment. I I'm want on it. it. I'll be glad to have them. Oh, she dislikes it when I when I help people out. That's nice. So they're in Hubris Comics. That seems like a bizarre place for ghouls to be. Anyway, yeah, let's sleep in that bed while we're here. Oh, wait, we can't because it's owned. How lame, how lame. However, there is something cool over there. Like, just massive water towers or whatever. Interesting, interesting. So yeah, we have to go to Hubris Comics, which is just over there. That seems like an easy enough thing to do. So we go to Swan Pond. Hopefully the swan isn't there, because if the swan's there, I guess we could lead him into the ghouls. Yeah, that makes things good. Although I imagine Hubris Comics, maybe I'm being crazy, but the name to me implies, implies that it's a comic book store. Again, I could be insane, uh, but that, that's the impression I'm getting. So uh, I guess what we need to do is, just, I, I guess it's going to be inside, so the swan, which by the way, big old swan over there now. I wonder what, what, what is... What was this meant to be before? Like, why would you have a boat like that for a lake this small? Yeah, it's a... Whatever. whatever. You probably shouldn't radiate yourself so much, Kate. But I guess she doesn't care, does she? She's got more important things to be worrying about these days. So, hopefully we can do this... I I really don't want to use stim packs, because, you know, I health slow enough as it is. So we're just going to take out... Oh, scavengers. Oh, nice. So, we're going to put out our shotgun. And because it's inside, and ghouls are usually pretty easy to kill... We should be able to do this with a shotgun. If it's too hard, we'll tell her, we'll tell her, don't stop resisting. 
take the first shotgun should help. And we should just... There's probably like 10 ghouls to clear out, right? Oh no, there's a monkey. So first step. Oh, okay, first step. Okay, that doesn't work. Okay, so that was almost a one hit kill. So we just do a little bit better next time. Stuff like... Okay, so... People are... Okay, there's there's ghouls everywhere in this comic book store. Why is this bother... Okay, this... This is what one of the things that the bothers me with this. These infinite quests just pick one place and, you know, another place and whatever. But, like, why does it bother these people, like, halfway across the world? Oh, burnt unstoppable. Oh! It bothers them so much that this comic book store is infected with ghouls. It's like, how does this affect your life in any way? So I want to quickly read that scavenger note. I know we're busy, but the, the ghouls will listen. So I got a scavenger's note. I want to read what it says, because I bet it's something cool, right? Can't believe I signed off this. Who wants this crap? Collect it. Uh -oh. Never mind, it's useless. Every now and then it's going to be useful, but this is not one of those times. <laughs> she's actually doing a pretty good job at taking them out one by one. Oh, jeez, I, I missed a bunch of shots. That's, but it's fine. Well, actually, it's not fine. I, I feel as though this weapon's burning pretty expensive ammo. So I should be a bit better than I currently am being. But we're mostly fine. So she's going to walk around the place. Okay, two goals. Oh, is that legendary? It is legendary. Okay, so... Throw. Oh, the Molotov. Okay, he mutated, so it's all wasted anyway. Just run in here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay, we're probably going to have to stay back. Seeing the way this is developing. But we got some dog tanks. We got a bob pin. We got an office key. Everybody wants office keys. I feel as though that's... Just... Oh, and we got a terminal. Okay, let, let's read the terminal. Let, let's see what was up this store. Is there a cool, like, oh, we were selling radiated comics then? I came into work today and found another self revision to the shooting script. Now the shroud has an English butler. Gotcha. Oh, and then we've got 10.15. I want to pull my hair out, but Aski is can't... Um, okay, so he signed He signed a redhead because he wanted a hot redhead. And she's not as young as Claire, but we can do something lighting to help that. Okay, so he wants brunette. And then finally... So I'm fortunate, maybe we can put Claire in a wig. <laughs> the contract is signed, so it's happening. Okay, so basically, there's a guy who's basically just serving his own interests and making bad stuff, which uh, people who like comic books don't like. Okay, so this guy is very broken, but it's fine because he's dead. Oh! Ooh! So it does more damage the lower your armor resistance. That sounds terrible, actually. Damn it, what, what is it with every th single thing being like... Uh, whatever, either way, we've got a baseball bat to have 125. That's pretty good. Also, well, that's concerning. <laughs> uh, let's do some more shooting, shooting, shooting. So I don't know if I mentioned this. Oh, there's another legendary, which Kate doesn't seem to care about at all. So I think I set her on fire more than I set her ghoul on fire. But that's fine, I swear. So let's, let's have it. There we go. Sharp metal chest, please. Plus one charisma and intelligence. That might be better than what I have already, like without the plus one intelligence. Let's see, so. I forget what it's called. Cavalier's Raider Right Arm. Is that better than what I have? No, it's not. Lightweight painted. Let's let's find. Okay, sharp metal chest piece. So it's actually slightly worse than what I have, but how much worse? Yeah, it's only a little bit worse, but I get plus one charisma intelligence. That seems yeah, worthwhile because extra XP and better sale prices. So then we just have to drop something bad. Oh, it's all worth so much. It's all worth so much. I guess. We drop this, because I'll find better. No, we'll, we'll drop this. Oh, wait, that's not enough. We need to drop... Yeah, we'll drop this. Whatever. So we need to sell the rest of our armor at some point. But for now, we're just going to keep on heading through the building. Until... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine. Okay, no, we're not. <laughs> it's like I saw the thing getting closer and closer, and I'm like, he's going to he's gonna ambush me. But he didn't ambush me. So, right is terminal. Oh, and we got some great Mentats. I like that they come in different flavors. Oh, so, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. This is why I'd be terrible in a zombie, in a, uh, any apocalypse. Like, you know, we're, we're going for this place together, and like, I suddenly squeeze on the trigger. Oh, I guess you're dead. Like, the number of times this would happen. Because, you know, there's more collateral damage than just shooting someone like that. But yeah, let's just finish. Oh, there's, that's where he was. That's why I thought he was uh, sneaking up on me, because, you know, he was getting closer and closer, and I couldn't see it. Yeah, I can't find the next floor of this place. Oh, here it is. Which means just a few shots to make, so... Oh, he's a glowing one. He's a glowing one. No one likes the glowing ones. 
and no one likes blood ones. So, let's see how Hobbs... Okay, it's going to be very difficult. Ow! Okay, and he has a magical attack. Yep, I guess they have to make it somewhat challenging, right? Okay, so this is where we realize we have mines again. Which are surprisingly effective for this sort of thing. So he runs through the corridor. They blow him up. They hopefully... Yep, they took away his arms. So now he can't actually attack properly. And then we just do some bats to the head. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. And we get some irradiated blood. Everybody loves that. Some nuclear material. And yeah, we, we did it. So then we can head back to the... Oh, apparently we don't have to kill everyone. Just the... You know, it, it doesn't matter. These guys aren't of consequence to me. Let's head out there. Oh, actually, we, we all are key, didn't we? Oh, wait, wait, wait. See that? Aha. The Unstoppables. Oh. <laughs> Would have been handy before we took out all the ghouls, but whatever. Also, Kubris Comics. We got we got two keys now. And we've also got a terminal, which we can't unlock. That's a shame. But we have the key for this floor, apparently. Ooh. Um, comic book, maybe? Really, there should be more than one comic book inside this, the, the comic book store, so... Um, yeah, there just isn't. There's uh, there's a bunch of cool stuff in here, but no extra comic books. That's that's bizarre. It's really bizarre. Also, I just got XP when uh, Kate killed someone. So she's she's pretty good, she is. I like her. I feel like I should keep her around a little bit long. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go back to County Crossing. Then we're gonna go back to the setting place. We're gonna get our reward, and he's gonna give us a quest. I don't care what the quest is. If the quest is just, oh, we need to you to turn on a radio tower. Fine. I, I just wanna I wanna progress some story then. Because <laughs> you know, dicking around in video games is fun and all. There's only so much you can dick. Um, especially since I need to, you know, just level up, get some stuff done. Best way to do that is the main quest, of course. So we head back here. Oh no, wait, we need to head back here first. Because they need to know about it, and then he needs to know about it. It's like a chain of command. Like I'm the I'm the I'm the ch I'm in charge of this whole organization. I'm a general, but I'm still going around doing these tiny things while he sits there enjoying his corn, which I planted. You know, I should start a mutiny. I should start a goddamn mutiny. You know, seriously, stuff we have. Oh, so howdy there. Tell the good doc what's wrong with you. Spend your caps. And Are you just I'll make a traveling you doctor? Okay, kill me. Are you really Actually. a doctor? <laughs> Am I a doctor? Let me show you my degree from the school. I'm a positive institution. Can't argue with that. Yeah. You have any of those symptoms? <laughs> any of those symptoms? I have an addiction, actually. I have an addict old cure, though, so kill my okay, radiation. Sir, we'll clean you up. Mm -hmm. So what's he going to do? Okay, he's just going to inject me. I swear, you're not radiated anymore there, buddy. And that's that. Yeah, I... You're not cure my addiction, too, whatever. Cured. All part of good living, am I right? Let me give you something that'll... Sure. Okay, cool addiction aftertaste. That's a interesting way to describe it. I want to say I can't argue with that, but I you genuinely can. It's so yeah, you took a lot of money off, off me. You go, so. then. That was that was a bizarre little thing. Apparently this is a traveling doctor. Oh, and he's got a caravan guard. That's nice. So, oh, he's who we need to speak to. I like how these farms oh, do actually have food. Took care of those ghouls that were giving you trouble. You they weren't giving you trouble at all, actually. That's great. But I took them out anyway. Lady, you and the Minutemen have our gratitude. Oh, I got community organ. And our support. What all that's for? Interesting. Um. But yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back now. Oh, wait, first of all, we sleep because we have our rats cured, and we'll get the uh, well-rested bonus because this is our. Yep. And then we head all the way back to the home, and he's gonna give us a quest. He's gonna. We're gonna progress this faction, and we're gonna save the the Commonwealth from, I don't know, super mutants. What's the big threat? I mean, like the Institute isn't actually a threat. They're just kind of, you know, they're perceived as a threat, and they don't care about being perceived as a threat. But they're not really a threat. You remind me of oh, myself. So yeah, we're gonna. Let's. You you give me a real quest, not one of these fake quests, a real one, darling. I'm busy. I cleared out the ghouls that were giving that settlement trouble. Glad to hear it, General. It's hard enough out here without people having to worry about ghouls in their backyard. We've got another thing to talk to you about. We can finally start to think about yeah, more than just Yeah, yeah. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating oh, no, with all our settlements. And I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Men and Men HQ. Oh, no, this is Way me. before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. 
Let's do it. Sounds like just. <laughs> I thought you. So, should I have? Yeah. Wait. What happened? So, to what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up, but the story I heard <laughs> was that some kind of monster came out of the a sea. A sea monster destroyed, destroyed it. Nice. So, should I have? An Wait. That's just a mylar. Oh yeah, it is a mylar. Yeah. So um. We'll do some I've done this on my ar other character. This is as far as like you can actually get once you do any other quest line. So once I do this, I can actually get more stuff done. But yeah, the cool thing about um, this is it's a it's like your big first boss fight. So I asked for a serious quest. I'm getting a serious quest. We've got a massive boss fight. It's probably not going to go too well. But uh, no, all bad things in life take time. And this is one of those. So we're going to go to Wilson Atom At Atomatoys Corporate HQ. And we're gonna have to walk on foot because we haven't discovered anything nearby yet. But it's fine. Uh, there is a there's a there's a castle and and, and, a, and a, a queen Mylux to take out or something like that. Uh, it's, it's a cool boss fight because I don't know. If, it's a lot of the time when something has too much help, it's just like ugh. But uh, uh, it, if you have ammo, you can just whittle away at itself, and it's nice, I guess. It's a it's a fallouty boss fight. So yeah, we got a long walk. We're going straight from the darn capital all the way there. We'll discover some stuff on the way, so that's nice. Get that XP, get that future knowledge. Get some explosions too. <laughs> See, she always gets hurt by them. And I feel like I should start being bad soon. Like, we're gonna get to that relationship level where I feel bad when I blow up a mine and it kills her. Oh, whoa, dude. Not necessary, not necessary. Oh, so this is the edge of the city. Well, it looks like the edge of the city. If I had to assume, this is like the ring road that goes around every major city. But that's just that. So anyway, I think it was... I hope it wasn't... Yeah, it was last episode, never mind. But I kind of get them mixed up. But I was talking about how, like, um, some cities managed to... Or some, like, villages or hamlets or whatever managed to live with so few people. And it's it's very, very bizarre to me. And it's like... Maybe it's just me, but I, I like living where there's lots of people. Because they mean the really tiny things. Like, if you want a massage, you can get a massage. If you want to... I don't know, Mexican food, even though you're one of the few people who li like, you know, let's say 1% of people like Mexican food. Oh, no. Guess what? In a in a place um, like, I don't know, London, where there's 8 million people, you can have that done. So, yeah, well, that's, that's why I like big places. Andrew Station, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You don't know? My first name is Andrew, and they named the station. Well, actually, my first name's Vladimir, let's, let's be honest, but yeah. Uh, they need a place after me. Wow, two stim packs. Oh, jeez. Wait, did I just glitch through the wall there? Okay, oh, hello. Sorry about that. My bad. I missed you. So, I want to use this, um, because we're wasting a little fast shotgun ammo. We're going to use our very fancy incendiary bolt action pipe. Because this is like 50 damage, which is actually pretty good. When we hit that. Uh, when we don't hit, it's not such great value. But see, yeah, this damage per shot is pretty good in this game, though. Gotta do some well aimed shots to the head, I guess. So stand still. Okay, so stand I thought just getting the, the hit five finger spawns possible would be good. But we do have to just do this if we want to kill people. Oh, see see how long that cycling takes? Like, even in bats, which is like. Honestly, it's slowed down or sped up or whatever, but it's not. But, you know, even in bats, it takes so long, so. I feel as though if there was just a speed reloader weapon, or not reloader, but just a speed upgrade for this. That'd be good. But there is none. So we're going to run past the turret, because I don't care about the turret. Ow, 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 ow. Apparently I should care about some turrets. Oh, also, more stim packs. Oh, no new stim packs. I took them all already, apparently. Well, there's a bag of cement in the trash. Which, uh, probably should raise more questions than it did. Oh, okay. Let's take a stim pack. Take a step back. Take a stim pack. Oh, that almost rhymes. Let's head out there. Into the, the suburbs, I guess. Because that, that that looks like what this is meant to be. Because even though this is... Oh, South Boston Police Department. Oh, wait. The, if the North one was the Borough of Steel, this must be the opposite of that, right? Which means, really, there there's probably some really good stuff in here. Because there's no one outside. It's probably just ghouls inside. So we'll just go... We'll tell them to stop resisting. And we'll get some nice equipment. In theory. So we'll a terminal we can't unlock because it's expert. See, I'm, I'm learning what I can and can't unlock. Um, we've got a bathroom, which probably has a ghoul in it. Oh no, it's just a big old store. With some bobby pins in the mirror. That's nice. Something's detected us, but I don't know what. Okay, it was nothing. Uh, I feel as though this is... 
I feel as though someone's in the prison and they're like, ah, oh, nuclear pockets happens and I'm locked up. That's gotta be the worst feeling, right? Because no one cares about the prisoners when there's an apocalypse. No one's gonna let them go free. In fact, you shouldn't. Yeah, they sh they should die. If there's if there's an apocalypse for the best opportunity for everyone, you should let the prisoners die. Because putting them all out in the public means that's that's terrible. Right? Terrible, terrible indeed. Don't do that. Anyone anyone who does who is in it by any chance watching this and has any control over a prison, uh, make sure you're prepared for the apocalypse because. I don't want no prisoners out there. If, yeah, we, uh, you could argue. I mean, also, let's just use a critical on this guy. Oh, that's great. That's great. So we'll do the same. Oh, I shot her. I'm sorry. Oh, I ran out of ammo. So I think a pro tip for this weapon, because it is kind of terrible reloads, is if you switch it on and off, um, oh, geez. Uh, just, okay, I'm just gonna whack him. Oh, wow, he does. It takes a lot of hits, apparently. Oops. <laughs> so it, it seems as though even when you shoot nothing, it still sets it on fire. So it is just ammo that's lit on fire. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, we can unlock this and set... Oh, wait. Can, does that mean we can reclaim the neighborhood if we let this like, guy go free? Yeah, let's do that. So, uh, step likeness one. Ties. No like. Actually, one likeness. Okay, so it's the E that is the same. Let's find anything with an E in that place. So weak likeness one. Uh, we've got one more chance, so flee is going to be my trap. Yes. Yeah. So we'll activate it. Hopefully it doesn't try to kill me. Up. And hopefully Protectron he'll save the wasteland. Duty. Or save the area nearby. Interfering with a law enforcement robot is a felony. Okay, don't commit felonies. Thank you. Attention. Yeah, go outside and... With a law enforcement Robot yep, thank you for the, thank you for felony. that, thank you for that. Useful, useful. So it looks like this is like the really understaffed police office. Whoa, whoa, there's a re legendary Radroach. Okay then, okay. Oh wow, we got, okay, that's actually pretty useful. I mean, it's it's gonna be nice to sell, <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of useless. So we're gonna keep on heading on our way to uh, the castle. By next part, I will be there and I will fight the Queen Milo with you guys. But thank you for watching this part of the Fallout 4 Let's Play. I know these are pretty long, but uh, thank you to everyone who, has, who does tune in. I find it crazy that uh, like someone recently said, like, I watched all the episodes earlier today, and it's like, that's like, it's seven and a half hours. And it's like, oh yeah, this seems pretty normal. But yeah, thank you to everyone who has been watching the Let's Play so far. Like if you liked it, second channel, don't care. Goodbye.